welcome to another video from Double Rail. In this video, we're going to look at the uh, Train Tech BL1. It's a uh, double O H2 scale red buffer light for DCC and DC alloys. Now, uh, for a DC, uh, one of the lights will light up at varying speed, and for DCC, uh, both lights will light up. Um, I'm not quite sure if that means if you can uh, possibly put it on. Uh, wire it up in some way to make it a uh, proper proof lights for DC. We'll have to take a look at that. But uh, basically you can see here, it looks like a pretty realistic uh, buffer light like you see at the end of a, a station or so on. Um, so one of the downsides obviously I have a, a DC layout. So this LED is only going to stay lit based on the direction. And then it's going to, intensity is going to illuminate based on uh, the speed the train's going on. Uh, so here, over the next couple of weeks, you'll actually see um, how we're going to fix that problem um, by doing some uh, clever wiring of the layout. So um, while you see this right now as being a, uh, a problem because the buffer light is basically tied to the, the train, um, here in a few weeks I'll show you a way to eliminate that problem. Basically, we're going to uh, design some of the sidings and the platform base in such a way that the uh, the power is independent and coming from a different supply than the, uh, the main, uh, main controller for the uh, trains. So um, I'm going to go and uh, open this and uh, we'll go install it in one of the sidings uh, on the other side of the layout. Okay, so uh, we've removed the uh, buffer light from the packaging. And just like the uh, train tester, you get this uh, pretty simple sheet uh, with some instructions. You can see here, it um, basically shows you how to install it, gives you some introduction to it, um, the difference between uh, DC and DCC, and how it operates, and some uh, some caution. And so the first thing it does is to recommend we turn off the power. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And and the rest of it's pretty straightforward. We're going to install it right here uh, behind this particular uh, And so it should be pretty straightforward. We got it installed correctly. Go. Okay, so you see here it's not quite fitting in straight. Um, I'm going to go and basically just fit it at an angle and then if we twist it into place, here we go. So hopefully here we'll turn the power on and you can see it uh, lighting up. But basically all I did was you fit it in between the two rails here and it goes in at an angle and you just kind of have to wiggle it. Uh, let's see, I have the points already engaged for the siding so it should hopefully... Yep. So you can see there it's, a, uh, it's illuminating. So I'm not sure if it's uh, entirely clear here, but the uh, polarity is currently uh, reversed, so the uh, bottom light is on, and when I uh, flick it the other way, the, uh, the top light will come on. So uh, if you hold on just a second, I will bring that to a halt, and you can see it brings on the top light, and obviously the intensity you guys have the more power to put through it. Get 
see how far he gets. There you have it. Uh, that's the uh, Train Tech uh, BL1. That's the uh, buffer sublight. As you can see there, with uh, DC operation, uh, it works in uh, either direction. Uh, two lights. One light goes on one way. One light goes on uh, the other way. And then for uh, DCC, uh, both lights can be lit, or you can control it. So um, overall, it's a pretty nice addition to the layout, and it's very simple. Uh, it attaches to the light to the rail, um, so it's uh, it's pretty straightforward, it took a couple of seconds to install it and uh, definitely uh, a big improvement to the layout. So I hope you enjoy this video, until next time.